We've got an electric motor to test, following on from our electric motor, how to test an electric motor. This one is faulty, and we're gonna have a quick test um, of this motor to find out if we can understand some more information around what is wrong with it and whether we can repair it. So, we have the terminal cover off. You can see that this motor is connected in star, so we've got our three windings, um, U, V, and W, coming back to star point and the jumpers have been connected across the star point. This one is in star. If they were if they were long ways, they would be connected in delta. So we'll just do a quick test. 500 volts, 121 mega ohms. So that's not too bad. We'll test it to, to ground. That's not too bad either. So what we're gonna want to do now is test each winding, low ohms reading on each windings to try and understand what the problem was. This motor was tripping out the, um, the motor overload. So there is, uh, there's a problem with it. So one of the first things um, we can do is to check you know, mechanically, is it okay? And as you can hear from that, it doesn't sound great. This is a this is a pump. I've actually did a, done another video on this. It's a centrifugal pump off a uh, off a coolant reservoir for a saw, and um, yeah, it's it doesn't feel particularly great. There's a little bit of rumbling there, so uh, it would be good to understand whether we've got an electrical problem or a mechanical one. Uh, overload will go out either way if it's, if it's, if it's got some sort of mechan mechanical, um, it's being inhibited some way, if the motor is stalled, then it will, it will create a um, overcurrent. So what we want to do with these nuts is be very careful that we do not drop them into the base of the motor because it's very difficult to get them out again. So now we've got access to all of our windings individually. So we, we will test first between U1 and U2. And we'll put this to ohms. Yeah, something's not right. Okay, so there's a problem there already. U1 and U2, we have an open circuit on our windings, which is what our, um, which is what's been indicated by our tester. Okay, so let's go to V1. And V2. Same, W1, W2. Okay, so it looks like there's a problem in the motor and the windings have been severed. We don't have continuity between our windings. We can check our leads and we have continuity through our leads, so we know our meter is okay but it's our connection. So we'll just make sure we're not causing any problems and we'll just scratch the surface, make sure there's no surface um, problems that are causing us, a, giving us a false reading. No, so we have no, there is no continuity on our windings, so Basically, if we go back to our winding, our motor windings, which are connected to star point. Now, we've removed star point, so we have just three windings, yep. Uh, ruined it. So we have the windings of our motor, not drawn that very well, but bear with me. Um, we've tested 
with our meter. To there and to that point to check continuity between here and here, which is this wire and this wire, if we're at U2, that's the beginning of our winding here and our end of our winding there, which is wound through the motor. We've checked there and there and there's no continuity. So basically it means that our uh, our winding has a breaking it in it somewhere. There is a break in the middle of it. I don't know what that symbol is, but that's signifying that there's a break in the winding. And it's across all three. So something's happened to this motor and we have lost the, the, the continuity. Something severed the windings internally. Could have been overheated. Um, it could have been mechanical damage where it's it's moved and severed it. I would like to be able to remove the casing from this motor and show you inside, but I can't see an easy way of doing that. Hey, it's Darren. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you find it really useful. If you have, then please give us a like and a subscribe. It really helps the channel. And here's a couple of other videos around me now that we think you might find useful. Cheers.